Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. Welcome back to the channel. We are on the road to 4,000 subscribers. We are halfway there, halfway there. So we need your help. Smash that subscribe button if you would, please. If you don't mind, also hit that like button. Uh, today was a lot of breaking down, taking down everything from the week, getting it all broken down, bringing it into Jeffy and the people who are right next to him. And we hit a payday today. So stick around, check out see what we broke down see how much we made we'll see you on the other side all right happy thursday welcome back we are now going over to start taking stuff apart so we are just gonna run through stuff first thing i'm gonna do is that fan so we'll bring you back after this is broken down Breakdown Thursday. Bam, 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 bam. First fan is done. Here's the motors. Here's the clean aluminum. Uh, a little bit of wire and all the tin. Fan number one done. All these left. We'll bring you in at the edge of each one. Of course, this one had to be special. And let's use a star head. Ooh, is that cute? Anyway, we'll fix you, won't we? And number two broken down. I ended up taking the saws on, hacking that piece off. Got a longer piece there. Where's my magnet? Here's my magnet. Everything's very sticky over here. Oh, what about this? This is not very sticky. Oh, nice little piece of aluminum right there. We still gotta pull those off, that's clean. It's a little piece of dirty brass in each one. Well, clean brass. All right, be back. Our back screen, we got some back screen action. Heck yeah, we are battling right now against these fans. Look at it, this is all this week. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, what is it, 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Heavy, heavy, heavy. We got some clean aluminum, extrusion. We're gonna end up doing the copper today. We think we're gonna do wire, dirty brass, clean brass, uh, light irony, stainless steel, more stainless. Look at our big barrel of just the uh, fan stuff already all built up. And we got more to do. We gotta take apart this. We gotta take apart that still. The extrusion's already all broken down and we still gotta take apart that one. The motors, oh yeah, that's right, the motor. So the motor's over there too, you guys can't let me, it's still draining oil from yesterday. All right, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. We are having just horrific internet problems. So while I take apart this fan, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit see what uh hey so you can see that i'm getting better at taking apart these fans and b to explain kind of what just happened in my life um so the plan is to go live some point on thursdays um so that every week we can do the coin flip my magnet broke um we can do a coin flip to see which trailer is gonna go out. So my plan tonight was um, to go live and to, I've been saving these, um, go live and I got a stack and just kind of break down a fan while people were getting in and you know, give people some time to get in there. Then we'd pick somebody and we'd have them choose heads or tails. And we did kind of do that. Um, we kept going spotty in and out, spotty in and out, spotty in and out. So what we did is we ended up having to go all the way up to the end of the road. So we went out to the end of the road and um, that's right, the kids are taking over. Lord of the Flies. Um, we had to go up to the end of the road. And I jumped on quickly there. 
uh, we had gotten like, I don't know, five minutes, something like that here where I was just kind of talking to people, kind of getting ready. I thought we had a decent enough connection to get through it, but we did not. <clears throat> so it just was what it was. Um, but anyway, we did it. We were able to get the coin flip done. That is something that did happen. And Team Scrapzilla, Maze Days, picked heads. And it came out tails. Tails never fails. Um, so yeah, that was it. Which means Mighty Mouse goes back out again tomorrow. And then uh, to finish off the week. I was going to stay on longer. I wanted to stay on for like a half hour or so, but just was not to be today. So hopefully I get on a little bit better schedule here and next week and we can do it maybe a little bit earlier. Maybe the internet won't break down on me and um, We can just bang it right out, you know? Bring you guys in for a little bit of the breakdown. Ooh. Bring you guys in for a little bit of the breakdown action. Next week, because I'm sure we'll have more fans to do. This was a huge week for fans. And it's a good thing I got started on them earlier in the week. I just feel like there's always stuff that pops up on Thursday nights now. All right, that thing's about filled. And guess what? We're almost done with this thing. Boom, boom. Shuggy, shuggy, doo, doo, doo. <clears throat> Just going with the hands. Little hand movement there. And boom. Look at that. That's aluminum. That's our clean aluminum pile. Look at our fan motors pile. Finally, we got the attic fans out of there. I am just going to finish taking these apart real quick. And we'll have some more clean aluminum. I don't know how long this clip is, but as you guys can see, we have knocked down a little bit of speed since our Is It Worth It video, because I've only taken 20 apart since then. And boom. All those go right in the trash. So take all these right in our clean aluminum bin. And then we've been taking all of this stuff afterwards. So we get a nice clean table and all this. Boom. Yeah. yeah. Good thing we're done with fans because. Ben can't take much more. Feeling that thing's going to be heavy when we go to load it. Heavy, heavy, heavy. What are these things? What are these? Gray brown 250 watt volts. What are we doing with these? Let me know. Let me know. Are we just chucking those. Are they going in somewhere? I wanted to show you guys what we're going to bring. But no, I guess you'll just have to see it here on the video. Pretty much bringing everything. All right, well, I will bring you back here in a little bit when we get to starting on breaking down the next thing here in a second. All right, we'll go. I guess we're gonna start tearing into this next. 
this out. I don't think I want to rip everything out of there. We'll just put you right there for right now. What I do want to do is get to some of this stuff here. Let's see. Let me just pull these out. <clears throat> Cut these. Really what we're going for in here. Some of the wire. Uh, I wonder if we just drop that. If we go like this. Boom. That's what we were hoping happened. <clears throat> Now we can operate pretty much right here. And for right now, just because it's close, I'm just gonna throw everything right in this bucket and then we can go through it again afterwards. And sort through the stuff. Whatever needs to come out, can come out. Whatever doesn't, doesn't. We are gonna actually try to wrangle out this motor. Kind of a sneak peek to it. Is it worth it? Boom. All this wire can go in there. Oh, we got a bigger one there. What about here? Are you gonna... go in the motors and then we'll be back for that one. Oh, he rimmed it into the other one which one the little orange bam slam bam walla walla bing bang all right goodness Just keep in mind that this is my first shot here. First shot. First shot at this. Do I want to try to take this top off? How do I want to do this? Not gonna reach. I'm sure there are people out there yelling at me. What are you doing? You don't need to be doing all that. But, I think that's how we learn. This is all... Zobble dabbles? Is it? How dare you, she said. How dare you do that?
How dare you? Yeah, I hear some more clean stainless. Is that what that would be considered as, you think? More tin to win. All right. Where are we at here? Just keep, keep unscrewing. I'll bring you guys back once we get a little further into the process. That way you just don't have to watch the nonsense. We got this out of the case. Oh, I still got to get this, these bolts out. Let's see if we can find these bad nasties right here. Oh, I know where it probably is. Hello, Case. Just in case you were wondering, get it, Case. Bam, bam, ba bam, 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 ba bam. I went right to half inch, but I had a feeling it was smaller than that. Five eighths, five eighths will do it. Where is the drill? Where is the drill? Dun, dun, dun. Boom. Boom. And boom. Bow, bow. Wap, bow, wap, pow. Wow. Okay. This is a public service announcement from me, Junkman5000. I was wrong. This whole time I've been hating on these motors, hating on them, hating on them, hating on them. And that was pretty simple. So, just in case anybody was wondering, I was wrong. Hey, good morning everybody good morning and I started stripping some wire so that's fun I figured I would put you maybe right up here All right, hey everybody, we are, we are back. And um, I think I'm starting to get pretty good with this machine, I think. No, uh, no definite answers here, but I'll let you guys sit down and watch real quick. I have this on a roll down there. I've had this wire forever. So, Oh, there it says hello. <laughs> and boom, we're just pulling. Oh, 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 oh. Lillian. Let's not be like this today. Just being a little ornery this morning. Oh, oh, oh. All right, maybe now. I was doing this earlier. Ah, figures. As soon as we went to that. Mark, 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 mark. And rather than just cut it, and that'll be ready to strip. This, maybe we want to use the handy dandy screwdriver here. Let me get this started. This is kind of like a two handed motion. Ah. Uh.
Get rid of what ails us. That thing was going to be a problem towards the end there. So, we just get rid of it. And then boom, boom, Urgh. little peel in action here. Hold on, just to get it started. I promise it goes much smoother once you. So I had to tune it in a little bit, get it so that it wasn't cutting the copper when we started pulling it. Last time I just went through like this. Boom. 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 So this is pretty much what I've been doing all morning. Trying to the kids don't have school today. So it's been messing me up. Still got up this morning like it was a regular school day. And then I've been thinking like, well, I gotta pick up Ava in a little bit. But I don't have to pick up Ava. Which means I do not have to rush to get into the yard today. Which means I can strip wire. So boom, that's all done. I'm not even sure what time it is. Maybe 10? I got out here at like 7.30? Maybe? Let's see what time it is here in a second. Boom! Y'all seen that man? Quick! Oh, so that over there. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. So I'm not holding out a whole lot of hope of going in before lunch. We still got to break down that, uh, Heater, so I think today is going to be more of an afternoon. Grab this. Make a nice look. Not out of it. And boom. So that's what we've done so far. It's all cleaned up. And then we got that over there and a little bit there. 
So we'll probably do a little bit more. Maybe we'll work to like another hour on this. And then uh, we'll get to... Oh, that got dropped off this morning. Woohoo! We had my guys taking it, so it's going in the back. He's coming on Sunday to take it. We just got to get all the copper out of that and then start loading the trailer. So, maybe around 11, 11.30, we'll get started on that. We'll finish stripping everything back here. And then get ready for the afternoon run. Dun, dun, dun. But first, I'm going to see how much more of this wire I can get through. So, we'll see you guys a little later. I need my screw bucket. Screw bucket, you say? That's what I said. I need my screw. Look at all that. Look at all the wire in there that was stripped out. Big wire. Big wire stripping. We're going to find out. We're going to find out if it was worth it or not. Um, we're going to do a video on Romex. This is just number one that I'm bringing in. I'm done. I'm over it. Uh, this is, I have a question about if it's going in as number one or number two. This is motors. This is extrusion. There's more extrusion there. Clean aluminum. Clean copper. Number two copper. Wires. Dirty brass. Clean brass. Uh, light irony. Stainless. Heavy irony. Stainless. How about that? And that's all aluminum. That's we're saving that for a video too. Yabba yabba dabba yabba dabba do. Uh, man, we're gonna get some more copper. So I thought I'd maybe bring you guys along with me, so we can see if we can be a team. Maybe do it together. I believe that this bad nasty is sitting right there. Uh, when I say I believe, 95% sure. 95%. These are usually, who really knows about anything anymore. These are usually somewhere in the 22 to 25 pound range. As far as the, uh, in the bucket. As far as copper yield goes. So this should just come right off. Just like that. All right. Yes. All right, since I guess we got all of our tin going in the back here already, we will just continue with that. Oh, I can't continue with that. I gotta get barrels up here. Boy, oh boy. All right, so tin is going to have to go to the front and we'll probably go see Jeffy first. Let's see, are these the same? They are. Five sixteenths. Go this way. Which way? We'll go this way. Boom. These come right out. Look at all of that beautiful copper in there. Hello, Kappa. Now I guess we're just going to have to uh, break out the saws all. 
The Souls Are, he said. Dun, dun, dun. But I think what I am going to do is if we're breaking out the Souls Are, I have to go look for a new blade. Because I needed a new blade about 13 cuts ago. Let's see, what else do we got here? A uh, little, little brass action there. Stand up, just like that. When I move, you move, just like that. All right, cool. You know it's gonna work good is I think I'm gonna keep it like this. Move this over like that and then take it right down with the saws all. What do we got here? Sticky. Sticky. Me and Nacho got into a conversation about that one day. He was like, yo, get those. I'm like, no, nah, they're sticky. He's like, no, they're not. And he put it to it and they weren't. And I was like, man. But those are sticky. All right, we'll be back. I'm, I'm rambling. Oh, you got my shorts. You put a hole in my shorts. And welcome back to another edition of Voice Over Radio. And today we are cutting copper, baby. Chasing the copper train. So, I mean, you see how it goes here. We are in uh, four times the speed. Got to cut off these ends. Um, brand new blade on that bad nasty. Thank goodness. All went pretty easy. Uh, it occurred to me the other day why I put the blade in like I do and why I go away from myself like I do most of the time. So that way I don't get stuff in my eyes. Um, I did look for my safety goggles, but I couldn't find them today, unfortunately. Rotate that thing a little bit. Bring them over. One more cut. And that thing almost falls on my foot. Good enough. No, it didn't. I got it. I got it. Uh, sometimes those are sticky sticky. That one was not sticky sticky. Now, I'm gonna use my bare strength and just rip these things right out of there. Ah, Hulk! Must be the Hulk! Ah! That was all stuck together. And there you go, they all just fell right out of there. Which is good. Because at this point in the day, I'm already getting tired. We've been breaking down for a while now. But all well worth it. I have noticed the numbers have gone up since we've started breaking stuff down. Um, yeah, now just ripping out the wires. All right, well, good talking to you. We'll see you in a little bit. I'm out. Yeah, so I've been forgetting this the past couple weeks, but we'll definitely bring it in today. Um, the place next door where we bring all of our copper, e &H said they wouldn't take these. But the place next door said they would. So I'm just going to go through them real quick, make sure there's nothing live in there. And then load them up. Look at that, the whole squad's here now. Pack of scrapper, nacho. We've officially taken over the yard, but I'm out of here. It's enough. Living the dream. It's WTF Friday. WTF? Yeah, Friday. Yeah. What in the actual WATF? Sure. We'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> if you would have seen uh, uh, first load after lunch from the golf cart place. Oh yeah? Almost. Crazy? Oh god. I'm glad I wasn't in here. Oh wow. Ah. You want to do it extrudal first? You alright with that going extrudal? Yeah. Extrudal first. 
Extrudal Loodle, that's what it was the other day. I got all my stuff all nice and separated. Organized. Cleaned up. That's what they like. That's what the people like. The people like it. Okay, now it's all. The whole crew's out there too. Yes. That one's yep. supposed to be in there. Look at you breaking stuff down. Look at it all. How much time do you have in that? What's that? How much time do you have in that? Oh, I don't know, last night and today. But I'm looking at it as the whole load. So that's 30 pounds. Okay. But this is the same price. Do right, you, right. Do you want to down into stainless steel? No, I don't care. There's some dirty. They're not all clean. This, this. The rest of it's... This uh, is heavy. This might be brass. Wouldn't that be nice if that was brass? I mean, it's one of the next things I gotta do is get mine set up. What? My wheel. Brass, baby. Hey. Look at you. He said, that's heavy. Yeah. Can I dump the rest of that? All right. Always honest. Always on. Um, you're my man. All right, what do you want to do next? You want to do the dirty? This thing's heavy, dude. Yeah, I know. I'm going to take that big one out. Right yeah. I'm going to take that out. Oh, it's still heavy. Here, I'll take a couple more out. Ooh, hey now. Ah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Look at them all. Ready? I can load this out on Monday. Boom. All right, what'd you say? Dirty still open? Okay. We doing dirty aluminum? Yeah. I got another bin too. I got this one. Do heavy? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. That's it. Oh my goodness. Which one you want to do first? That's all dirty. Where are we going? Clean machine. Hold on. What? That was an extra. That was an extra pound. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Oh yeah, that's why I brought it. Just for you. They were trying to get it next door. Oh yeah. And you said, no, no. I said, yeah, I said, no, no, no. They were trying to get everything that I brought over to you, they were trying to get. No. You're like, no. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you just did the copper there? Uh, copper and the brass shells. The bullet shells you wouldn't take. Oh, they bought them? Yeah, they bought them. How much? 210. Huh? Dude, 
Dude, this thing's been in my... It's not gonna weigh. Do you want it back? No, it's all right. It needed to go. I think it's aluminum. If it's brass, I want it back. Dude, I so need to get one of them at the house. Brass on that, you know what? All right, Joe. All right, so, Dos Vidania world. What? Dos Vidania world. Dos Vidania! What for what language was that? Russian. Russian, look at us. All right, let's get into the tickets. All right, first we went to Orlando Scrap. Um, this we did Bear Bright, paying $4 a pound for Bear Bright. No, no, never mind. That is not correct. Paying three thirty a pound for Bear Bright. Three thirty. So we had twenty one pounds for sixty nine seventy. So about seventy bucks for all that stuff I did this morning. It took me about three hours. So a little over twenty bucks an hour. Uh, yellow brass, eighteen pounds for thirty seven eighty. Number two copper, we had sixty six pounds. For 20460 and then high grade number one. Uh, they paid 230 over there, 235. So that's 1645, which brought our total over there to 328.15. And then <clears throat> went over to back to ENH. We had number one prepared, 60 pounds. Uh, number one, 10, uh, 10, 420 pounds. Extrusion, 21 pounds. Clean aluminum, 46 pounds. Electric motors, 124. Irony all light, 10 pounds. Irony all heavy, 22 pounds. Brass unclean, 20 pounds. Yellow brass, 4 pounds. Insulated copper wire, 88 pounds. Which brought our total there to 815 pounds for 227.63. And then that brought our daily total up to 555. Fives are lucky today. 555. Um, yeah, we did 927 pounds total. And that is all from, well, the, the insulated wire. It was 88 pounds of that. That wasn't, that's... But that's only two weeks because we brought it right before right at the end of the month and we'll do it again one more time so big on the insulated copper wire this month so far we're only halfway through it um pretty good on the yellow brass that was all those casings uh the bear bright so it was 21 pounds 21 pounds on that bear bright 330 70 bucks it took us about three hours this morning to do that interesting and we'll get quicker at it all right so that is the whole deal that's a whole ticket that's a good load well i guess i gotta tell you the exact price three yeah 555 78 555 78 crazy 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 that's a good day and that's all this the stuff that was left over you take the wire out it's still like 425 electric motors 124 pounds so that's 27 28 and that's pretty much all fans and and then clean aluminum that was pretty much a lot of fans it's another 20 bucks so it's almost like it's like 55 dollars for that and then there was a bunch of tin in there probably another all those fans probably got us somewhere around the 60 buck mark, right around there. Irony all light, irony all heavy. Brass on clean yellow brass, yeah. All right, well, that's a whole day. It's a good day. We'll take that. Faux show. Faux show for show. Let's do a quote of the day. I don't know how we went so long today. I don't know what I filmed last night. I'm going to have a lot of video to break down. Say this aloud. 
I wish people well. I don't want to talk bad about anyone. I don't want to share negativity. I am focused on having a good life. I don't worry about others' business. I am generally trying to vibrate higher. That one spoke to me today. Because, I mean, really, that's, that's what we should all be doing, right? At least that's what we should all be trying to focus on to do. It just leads us to better places, you know? All right, well, if you would, check out the website, junkman5000.com, or you can send us a letter, junkman5000, P.O. Box 414, Christmas, Florida, 32709. What a day, what a day. We've seen the Packer Scrapper today. We've seen Nacho Stuff today. We've seen non ferris Jeff. The whole crew is all here. The men in black. Bum, 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 bum. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. We appreciate all the support. Always remember, there is no us without you. Team Lift is more than just physical, so if you have the ability to help somebody out, we greatly encourage you to do that. I love you guys. Thanks for stopping by. Really appreciate you guys in the comments. What a week. What a week. Um, I don't even know the weekly totals. I think we're just under... Oh, we're going to be close. We could have hit 10,000. We are so close to 10,000. And I think we... Same thing. We almost at $2,000 for the week. Maybe just under. Um, I didn't go inside and run all the numbers. I'll end up doing that tonight. So, either way. Not having any pickups this week. Well, we did. We had, we had a couple uh, pool heater pickups. So, that, that helped out a lot this, this, mo this week. But maybe we'll get some of the mechanics that call in next week. Big things. Big things on the horizon. Thanks for all the support. If you made it to this long, hit that subscribe button for me. We really appreciate it. You guys are the best. We will see you next week. We made it. We made it through it. Hallelujah. God bless. We love you. See you next week. Take on the world.